Hey everybody, Zach from Majorspoilers.com here again. Today we're going to play some new games. Desktop Dungeons. It's said to be a roguelike game. 10 minutes to clear a dungeon. Uh, I did go through the tutorial, so I'm not completely clueless in uh, what is happening today. But I think we'll still have problems. It seems like it's supposed to be a pretty hard game. But uh, we're going to get through it. And we're going to have a dang old good time, as they say in places. Let's do this. The story begins. Creatures attacked in the night. The care of them is unprepared. Travelers had been warned about the unexplored realms, but pride often plays tricks on reason. Flames and blood engulfed the defenders, nomads, exiles, and vagabonds with only a handful of real fighters among them. Injured, ill-trained, and separated from one another, many of the survivors had no choice but to press on into a nearby network of maze-like caverns. Here we go, folks. All right, so you kind of just explore and you kill things. So let's attack this. Attack it again, and we killed it. Congratulations, us. And we continue exploring through the dungeon. Um, let's see, he attacks for three, I attack for five. Let's kill him. Win! See, it's really quick. There's not a whole lot of thinking. Apparently, thinking comes into it a little bit more. Uh, exploring gives you, fills, refills your health and mana. And we just kind of keep going from there. So let's kill this zombie. Bam. Oh, wait. Uh, undead, bloodless. Oh, it is a lot of health. Okay, we're fine. We won that one. Bam, look at that. Still going through. All it is is just clicking. Oh, look, it's not Super Meat Boy at all. It's called Meat Man. It's pretty close. Copyright. Safe there. Oh, he only attacks for, attacks for one. That's, that's, that's a weak sauce. He had a lot of health, though. We took him out. See, it's just uh, clicking and clicking. Can we beat this guy yet? Probably not. He's level two. That's pretty hard. We don't want to go against him yet. Let's kill this guy. Oh, we went to level two. Look at that. Here we go. I think we're good. Full health. We're going to attack for 10. He's going to attack for eight. He's got first strike. That's not good. But uh, we're going to win here. Bam. Look at that. Still going. How many? Oh, we got some glyphs to pick up. These will increase our attack and our health and our mana. And that's how you increase your stats. All just like that. Oh, look. And these are spells. Uh, you can use spells to attack from far away, so you don't get attacked. Of course, they use up your mana just like normal. It's a pretty simple game. Oh, I forgot to pick it up. Pick that up in our inventory. Uh-oh. What do we got here? A goo blob. Physical resist 90. We're going to have to uh, use some, some spells here. So if you just uh, hold and drag, you can use your mana. Bam! And I think we should be able to attack him now and win. Look at that. Gain some health really quick, and let's attack him to, with our spell. Bam! And let's, uh, let's just physically attack him, we'll kill him anyways, and we'll continue to regenerate health and mana by exploring the dungeons! What do we got here? A mana potion. Fantastic. And um, we just keep exploring. This is pretty much what the game is, I think. I mean, at least from the tutorials, that's what it seems like. It's just a lot of uh, dungeon exploring. It's quick. It's supposed to be really fun, they say. <laughs> I believe in the description on Steam it said, uh, six hours of playtime? Try six billion hours of playtime. So apparently it just kind of goes on forever. Which is fun, you know, you kind of want those quick games to get your mind off things. What do we got? Oh, we're gonna win. Let's just attack normally, save our mana. Oh, level three! Look at us go, ooh, a pendant. Uh, offers a two maximum of mana. Fantastic, we'll put that on and wear it. We're uh, not ashamed of our necklace. Our adventurer likes to be fashionable. Oh, hello, meat boy. What's a uh, man at you? Bam! Burn! And we are going to attack! And attack again! We just start regenerating all the time. Oh, that does not look good. I think we're gonna dodge him and go here. Oh, what's this? A sensation stone. A sensory stone that seems completely inert at first, but yields great rewards after conversion process. Oh, okay, so you can convert it to upgrade your stats, so I think we'll just do that right now. Bam, look at that, 10% uh, extra to our total damage already. That's what we're talking about. All right, we got a ooh, level 4 zombie, but a little too blobby. But he's 90% uh, uh, resistant to physical damage, so we're going to try to use our spell. If it'll let me select it. Bam, look at that, death. Let's kill Meat Boy here. Just attack him normally. Attack him normally. Kill him. Hopefully we'll level up. That's why I'm waiting for level up. 
before we try taking on those big guys. So let's... I shouldn't click around so much so I can uh, save the discovery to heal myself. Uh, Alright, we're going to win here. Great. Uh, let's regenerate a little bit. Regenerate, regenerate. And I think we're good. Let's come back here. Kill this guy. Uh, we're going to win with the next hit. Ooh, we took a beating. It's okay. We're going to regenerate. Alright, we got some guys here. No, nothing we can't take. A little zombie action. Um, let's just attack normally. And do another attack again. Oh, level 4. There we go. Um, maybe we'll get through this whole dungeon. That would be crazy. Without dying? Are you kidding me? Maybe I'll actually be decent at this game. Who knows? Uh, I'm gonna go with... Probably not, though. We're hitting for 24. This little guy. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Goats are bad. Goats will kill you. Big time. So, let's come attack... Ooh, 24? He's gonna attack for 24. That's insane. Let's do, uh, our spell. And then let's normal attack, and we killed him. Fantastic. I think we're gonna need to use the potion because kind of low on health. We need to take out this zombie. Oh no, we're out of mana too. Um, let us use a mana potion. Bam! Did we use the mana potion? Yes, we did. We were really low on mana. Let's kill him. Bam! We'll kill him. Attack normally. Attack normally, and we win. Fantastic. Um, we might be in trouble now, though. Let us explore. Oh, there we go. We needed that. Got that. Oh, pick it up. Pick it up. Bam. Now, let's kill... We only attacked for 11. That's not very much. We attacked for 24. Killing him. Oh, dang. Oh, we're gonna use a spell. Hmm. Should've used more spells at that time. It's okay. We got a health potion here. Let's pick that up. Do a little more exploring. Can we do a little bit more exploring? Please? Let us live! Oh man, we might be in trouble. I don't know if we can have enough to... Well, let's take out this goblin. He's got first strike, that's never good. So we need to use more spells for him. Did we kill him yet? Nope. Now we did. And we're level 5! Whoop whoop! Uh, it looks like we're maxed out on everything right now, so we're gonna have to use all of our wits to take out Look at that. He's got 31 attack. That's crazy. We're going to need to use a lot of spells here. So we can take out Mr. Goaty. Use another mana potion. I think we're almost there. I think we can just attack him normally. Beat him. Yes. Look at that. Cleared a dungeon. First time through a great horn. This trophy is what you came for. Now grab it and let's go. All right, let's do that. Congratulations on making it through your first dungeon. In case you're still uncertain about something, like to offer you the guided tutorials. No, onward. Don't need no stinking tutorials. Tutorials, the aftermath. Many perished in the days and weeks following the attack, but some were slaughtered by cave denizens. Others became trapped or lost. Stronger survivors prevailed against the darkness, banded together to establish a crude outpost in the heart of the wilderness. Ah, let's read some more. And this fledgling settlement is the this fledgling settlement is survived beyond its first few weeks. Its people will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep enemies at bay. This is where your job begins. Yay! As the elected administrator of this rabble, it will be up to you to expand the settlement and recruit the heroes needed to defend your people. All right. Oh, more text. Most honorable administrator, I've been elected by a group of people in the settlement to tell you what to do in order to tell everyone what else. To do, blah 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 blah, me, because you're an advisor of sorts. Your new position gives you responsibility over our collected funds and efforts. This represents the resources we've managed to scourge together so far. Whole lot of talking here. Your current task is ensuring our survival, so I recommend investing our limited funds in training and arming some real defenders. Click on the outpost. Fine. A guild. It's time to move up the world. Click here to upgrade panel. Hmm. Uh, blah 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 blah. Upgrade it. Yay, we'll get a fighter. Sweet. Upgrade! Bam, look at the whole the whole town. Whole town upgrades with one button click. Administrator, remember this moment well, for you have just taken our first tentative steps towards a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, these survivors will build a kingdom to challenge the gods themselves. We're gonna, we're gonna need a bigger kingdom. That is for sure. 
Adam, uh, clicking and spending noble administrator. You've just unlocked a fighter class. These hardy warriors are superior to common guards in several ways. They excel at hunting down opponents and gaining experience quickly. Fantastic. On uh, quest trophy hunting. Uh, our scouts have discovered some monster lairs in the surrounding area. This guy looks kind of scary. Uh, it's time to take the fight to them. Let's have our heroes load up and move out. They can return when they have some monster heads and or other souvenirs of victory. Oh, this guy looks... Ooh, he looks like he's got patched together in the face. Um, we'll chat later. I bet he's going to buy it. Let's send someone next adventure. Um, we got to quit. We got to be quick on this one. Well, let's see if we can how fast we can clear it out. Are you ready to send someone on the next adventure? Just select a dungeon and we'll get there. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's select a dungeon. Uh, let's do the Vince's Vault really quick. Oh, there's a goat boss. Great. Uh, great. Just confirm your selection here. It's a legal requirement of our selection confirmation committee. All right. A human and a fighter instincts. Monsters of equal or lower level always have their locations revealed. Uh, one extra experience per monster kill. And dungeon runs start with one level of standard death protection on the character. Sweet. Let's play. Oh wow, look at all those monsters. Let's grab that. Grab some glyphs. Grab some glyphs. Who was this? Uh, summons existing enemy, adding slow debuff, no blink retreat or retaliation. Strike second, bonus XP, hotkey S. All right. They say you pretty much learn a lot as you go along in this game, so I can't, uh, I'm sure that'll be the common thing as we go along. Let's kill a goblin. Let's kill this goblin. And we'll barely win. Oh, level 2 though. Look at that. Grab a potion. Grab some coins first. Grab that potion. Let's kill Warlock here. Bam! One hit wonder. Oh, level 2. Not good. Meat man, let us kill you. Oh, wow. He took a lot of... He was pretty resistant to that. Let's hit him there. And here we give him again for the win. Money, 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 money. Boom! More spells. I like how fast paced this is. It's kind of like uh, Rogue Legacy in sorts. That it's kind of quick paced, but I think you're not expected to die as much as Rogue Legacy. Maybe I'm wrong in that because we haven't played for very long yet. But I, uh, I would have to assume. Um, let's see, when fighting monsters, pay attention to the combat indicator on the rightmost panel. If it says death, you probably shouldn't attack. Yes. Hmm. What's this? Bone. Hey, Avenger. Hey, over here. Hey, it's me, Dungeon Boss. Come on, just hit me with the fireball. I dare you. Ha ha ha, you suck. Regards, Vince the Invincible. Alright, so we know where he is. So let's read this first quest. Um. Alright, so we need a lot of conversion points to help with our. Uh, we already have this, don't we? Yeah, we don't even really need that. Let's convert this. Bam! Oh, there we go. We got 10% bonus. Um, we'll just hotkey that. Bam! Destroyed. Oh, too hard. Um, let's kill Meat Boy. Bam! Fireball. Regular attack. Mana, mana. Health, health. Sign! Casting fireballs means a free attack. Use as often as possible, even if you're a fighter. Right, because they can't. They don't have the ability to strike then. And let's do this some more. Bam! Bam! And regular attack. Suck it! Level 4! Uh, let's kill Meat Boy. Probably shouldn't call him that. You know, copyright infringement and whatnot. Um, let's come down here and kill these guys. Bam. Mm, we're gonna have to go all, oh, I don't have very much mana. Probably need to take a potion. No, we'll kill these guys and we'll gain, oh, what did we get, we just level five? Bazinga, look at that, pick up some mana. I don't know if I like this, someone's existing enemy adding slow debuff. Hmm, maybe we'll have to try it out. Ooh, what's this? Boost your next melee attack with a 30% bonus. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. That up. And no, we don't need that. Let's uh, convert that with a 10% bonus. And bam. So, what's this? 
Oh, okay, I see what happened there. Whack him. Cool, I like that. We're gonna need that for the for the uh, stinking goat for sure. Where are we at? We have no mana. That is not. Oh, we're gonna be able to gain some mana over here. It seems like. Grabbing some more stuff. Oh, we found the exit. So in case we need to exit early, I think we'll be okay. We're just flying through this, guys. Hmm. I don't think we need that again. So let's convert it. Another 10% bonus. Look at that. Bonus. 60% bonus right now. That's amazing. I think we are going to destroy this goat. Let's fire. Oh, wait. Uh, let's fireball him. What's that taking to? Let's fireball him again. He's got magic resist 50 right now. Ooh, okay, we need a mana potion. Let's do biceps and smash him. That's what I'm talking about. Another mana potion, biceps, smack him. Bam, we killed Vince the Invincible. Ha, what a tool. We grab it, let's go. Oh, wow. Victory in Vince's vault is a human fighter. Oh, it kind of gives us a vent log. I like this. Shows you how you went through it and everything. Um, wow, that's really cool. So this is a we'll give a quick teaser of this game. Well, I'm sure we'll be playing more later. So uh, we'll come back. Hopefully you guys liked this. If you liked it, uh, subscribe to the Major Spoilers YouTube channel so you can get all the great content as soon as it comes out. Like this video, share it with your friends. Head over to Majorspoilers.com where there's so much more stuff to explore and like and ex uh, just learn more about pop culture and cool, cool stuff. So we'll be back with more games next time.